Welcome friends in the lecture series on antenna and wave propagation. Today we discuss sub numerical in order to plot the radiation pattern of array of broadside and end fire cases. Okay. In previous scenario or previous lecture we understand how we can compute the major lobe, minor that is null direction and bandwidth between first null for both cases end fire array and broadside array. So, let today we solve some question of broadside array as well as end fire array. So, first start with the content that is numerical practice on broadside array and then we discuss one example on end fire array. Okay. So, here is the first question a broadside array of identical element consists of 8 isotropic point sources radiator separated by a distance lambda by 2 and we have to plot the field pattern. Okay. Remember in broadside array delta is equal to 0, okay. phase difference is 0. Now, what we have given? We have given isotropic radiator number 8 and d spacing is lambda by 2. So, d is equal to lambda by 2 we have given and we have a spacing point sources which is 8. Okay. So, in order to plot the radiation pattern of broadside array, we know that the direction of maximum is always perpendicular to the axis of array that is 90 degree and 270 degree. So, taking into this mind, let us begin the solving this numerical. Okay. First of all, we have to calculate step 1. that is magnitude of major lobe. So, we know that it is nothing but n. So, major lobe magnitude is equal to n is equal to 8. Okay. So, first part we have considered that is it is nothing but number of sources available or given to us is the value of magnitude of major lobe. Next major lobe magnitude and we know that phi max angle it is 90 degree and 270 degree. Okay. This is also we know when we studied this and broadside array. Okay. So, this two thing we have already known. Now, step 3, step 2 direction of null or minor lobe we have to find out. So, let us solve this direction of null. Okay. So, if you recall what is the formula of direction of null? The simple formula phi min is equal to phi min is equal to cosine inverse of plus minus m lambda upon n d. This is the generic formula for finding out direction of null, where m is equal to integer 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. Lambda is the wavelength, n is number of sources given to us and d is the spacing which is also given lambda by 2. Okay. So, just simplify this. Now, the value of m for m is equal to first put the value of n and d. So, this equation further simplify into plus minus m lambda n is equal to 8 given and d is equal to lambda by 2. So, this lambda to that lambda cancel out to this is 4. So, we have phi min which is cosine inverse of plus minus m by 4. Okay. So, taking this into mind, let us solve the various possibility of minor lobe. Actually, we need to calculate 2 to 3 points only. We cannot go up to infinite times, okay. because it is so complex you need to calculate because m is varying from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and so on. So, it is 
good if you calculate two or three maximum three point okay if question is not maximum up to what level three subsidiary level four subsidiary level it is not mentioned then you can simply go for two or three okay so for this case let begin when n is equal to when m is equal to 1 okay because 0 it kill in the symmetric okay so that is why for m is equal to 1 the first case when you got m is equal to 1 the value is what 1 divide by 4 so we value is cos inverse 5 min is equal to cos inverse plus minus 1 by 4 okay and if you compute this the angle representing this two value plus 1 by 4 minus 1 by 4 is 75.52 degree and 104.47 or simply roughly 5 104 this is the first case 75.52 and 104.5 degree the value of plus 1 by 4 is this minus 1 by 4 is this okay so this way we can calculate next m is equal to 2 when m is equal to 2 then phi min is equal to cosine inverse of m is equal to 2 2 by 4 that is simply 1 by 2 plus minus 1 by 2 and we know that when this possible at 60 degree and minus 1 by 2 at 120 degree. So, this is the answer 60 degree and 120 degree. This is our second scenario. Let us go with one more evaluation that is m is equal to 3 value. So, phi min is equal to cosine inverse of plus minus 3 by 4. Okay. Because next you go on for 4 plus minus 1 okay. and that is the maximum value beyond that 5 by 4 it is more than 1. So, we cannot go. Okay. When you solve this the value or answer is 41.4 for positive value and for positive value we will get our answer cosine inverse of plus 3 by 4 this value and cosine in inverse of minus 3 by 5 4 the value or answer is 138.6 degree. So, remember these points because we need to plot this. Now, this is the case of null direction or minimum lobe direction, but what is the magnitude of that minimum in particular direction we need to find out and thus next we had to find out the value of minor lobe level or minor lobe magnitude. If you recall the formula for minor lobe is simply lambda if you compute this value the value is divided by lambda times pi d cos phi this is the value of minor lobe magnitude. One more thing we are calculate need to calculate the side lobe label, subsidiary side lobe label, where this value is possible. Okay. So, this way we can find out. Let us begin with finding first what is the value? Let us first find this value, and second, parallelly, we need to find out the side lobe label. Okay. So, the value of in that case phi is equal to cosine inverse of plus minus 2 k plus 1 divide by lambda 2 and d. Remember this formula? We already derived this formula. Okay. So, this is for maxima case when we equate plus minus 1 and we will get this formula. Okay. For end fire case, we will get this value plus 1 also there. Okay. So, this way we can find out so, together we can parallel do it. For this angle, the value of side lobe level we, or the mag magnitude we need to compute. Okay. So, again same scenario for different value of k over here, we can easily compute for when k is equal to 1. 
Okay. So, what is the value phi is equal to or first you simplify this we know that n is equal to 8 d is equal to lambda by 2. So, first simplify this we will get our final answer of this value is simply plus minus this 2 k plus 1 lambda and this lambda by 2. So, 2 to 2 cancel out lambda to lambda cancel out what we have remaining plus minus 2 k divided by n. This is our formula because n is equal to 8 we have given and d is equal to lambda by 2. So, you can further rewrite this value is simply 8 okay, because n is 8 given to you. Now, when k is equal to 1 what is the value of phi cosine inverse and the value is plus minus 2 into 1 2 plus 1 3 by 8 and when it is this value. So, the answer is 67.97 for positive value and for negative we have answer 112. Okay. For this value we need to find out our answer for major lobe minor lobe magnitude because lambda pi d is equal to lambda by 2 cos phi. Okay. Now, the value of cos phi you need to put over here is what we have calculated earlier in minor lobe case what we have calculated if you recall the first answer is 75.52 because we are calculating minor lobe magnitude. So, which angle you have to place minor lobe angle first then this one then this one. Okay. So, let begin. So, here lambda to lambda cancel out what we have 2 divide by pi into cosine of phi okay, because minor lobe we can say this is phi min actually. Okay. Now, magnitude so, we know that in this direction I have a signal strength, but the maximum signal strength in direction of 19 to 20 and lesser in this, but there is a strength. Okay. Now, for k is equal to 2, phi is equal to cosine inverse plus minus this value 2 into 2 4 plus 1 5 by 8. Similarly, k is equal to 3 phi is equal to cosine inverse plus minus k is equal to 3, 3 to, to the 6 plus 1 7 by 8. Okay. So, the answer for both cases for k is equal to 2 is given as 51.31 for positive value and for negative value the answer is 128.7 degree. Okay. For k is equal to 3 case, the answer is 28.95 roughly and for negative value the answer is 151. Okay. Now, let us calculate this value for case number 1, what is the answer? The phi is given 75.5. Okay for m is this value we will get our answer this phi min for first case is 2 divided by pi cos 75.5 and when you calculate this the answer I am giving the direct the answer 2 divided by 0 0.7887855 if you simplify this the final answer this is we are considering case number 1 when m was 1 that is the angle 78.55 75.555. So, if you simplify this the value is 2.54. So, this is the magnitude of minor lobe when we consider m is equal to 1 and corresponding angle is 75.5. Same scenario for m is equal to 2. I am given direct the answer the value of minor lobe 
I am giving the direct answer, same procedure you need to adopt. What is the next angle case? If you recall, this is what is the second angle? We have 60 degree. Okay. So, cos 60, when you put 2 divided by pi, pi, pi cos 60. So, your answer is 1.273 and the third when m is equal to 3, the magnitude of minor lobe is what is third angle? It is 41.4 degree. Okay. So, the answer is 0.84 or typically 0.85. Okay. So, this is the answer we require for plotting the radiation pattern. Okay. So, let plot sorry let plot the value. Okay. So, remember this point, okay. we need to plot it again and this is the angle of side lobe level okay. and this is the value. Okay. So, let go back to the slide number 1, where we can plot this value over here. Okay. So, let me little bit vacant the space, we know this. Okay. So, right. So, first let me draw the coordinate system over here. I am plotting only the positive hemisphere, the same analysis for negative hemisphere. Okay. So, this is the phi is equal to 0, this is 90 degree, this is 180 degree, this is 270 degree this direction. I am plotting only for upper case, upper half hemisphere. So, I have maximum major low mag magnitude which is n is equal to 8 we have here. Okay. So, subdivided 1, 2, 3, 4 I suppose 8 is over here maximum strength. Okay. Now, direction of maximum is 90 as well as 270. So, both downward also same structure n is equal to 8. Okay. So, first of all what is the point of side lobe level or minor lobe level, if you remember what is the point, different points 75.52, then 60 degree, then 41.4. So, let I need to change this pen color, okay. so 75 point somewhere over here, okay. downward also same this is 75.5, next 60 degree, okay. same over here 120 degree, and same for this case, what is the angle value, if you recall the value of angle is 104.5. Okay. Now, third case, what is the value? We have 41.4 and 138.6, 40. And 138, somewhere over here, 0.6. Okay. So, this is the value. Now, the value of maximum lobe is between this plane 75, because this is first subsidiary level, this is second, this is third one. Okay. So, the answer for this plot is you find easily is the curve as I representing over here. So, this is the value which is highest value 8 over here magnitude okay. and this is the direction of maxima. So, simply same 
process is followed for downward slide that is lower hemisphere. I am only plotting upper hemisphere. There is mirror image just exactly the same. Okay. Now, what is the value? Next, what is the value of minor lobe magnitude? Okay. This is first case 2.54, 1.273 and 0.85. Okay. And the angle is 67.97. 51.31, 28.95. So, first angle is 67.97. What is 67 in between these two curves? Okay. So, somewhere over here, I have to plot my sub first point of side level, level 1, and this angle line is the value if I recalling correctly is 67.9 degree. Similarly, in this direction we have same value and this angle we have if I remain com correctly the value let me recall this value is 112. Okay. Now, what is second value? 1.273, this is 2.54, this magnitude is 2.54, remember from here only. Now, next value is little bit lesser as corresponding to this is somewhere here which is in between this plane and the angle if I remember correctly it is something 50, 51.53, okay. 51.5, same over here, the angle for negative value is 128.7. when m is equal to 3, the value, the magnitude, amplitude of this value is 1.275. This value is 1.275 amplitude factor. Okay. Now, third case, when m is equal to 3, the angle is 28.95. Let us plot the curve again over here somewhere over in this direction, the magnitude is less than 1 and the angle is 28.95. Same over here, the angle is for negative value, the angle is 151. And the value of magnitude is 0.85. So, this is the curve of broadside array of 8 isotropic point sources whose separation is d is equal to lambda by 2. Okay. So, this is the final plot of radiation pattern of your broadside array. I am drawing only the upper hemisphere part. The same is just reverse to that downward side in order to complete. Okay. So, you need to complete this axis. So, I am let me draw this value little bit for sake of simplicity, okay. sorry. So, this way you can plot the maximum, then this is minor and here I have major lobe in same direction reverse of this, okay. it going downward. So, this way you can complete the circuit or sorry the figure and it will be easily understandable. Again, I am just give the revision what we have done? First, we have calculated the magnitude. It is simple number of isotropic given to you. So, that is 8. Okay. Now, maximum direction we know that for broadside is 90 degree and 270 degree. Okay. Now, what we have to do? Next, we have to find the direction of null that is minor lobe level and using simple formula we have calculated the 3 subsidiary minor lobe for m is equal to 1, 2 and 3. And also, we have interested what is the magnitude of this minor lobe level because the direction of null is this shown by green. Okay. This is the direction of null we are finding out. 
remember this is the minor lobe which we have calculated 75.52 okay so in between this is what we have getting zero value see green line but in between this two we have subsidiary level subsidiary maxima level and for that angle we have computed the value by simply that is magnitude of minor lobe level which is simply the formula we applied that is lambda divided by pi d cos phi and phi value we already know 75 degree second 60 degree and third 41.4 degree so this way we have evaluated this curve and plotted it okay now let us move to the second part plot the field pattern of end fire array earlier we have broadside array now we have end fire array now delta is not 0 over here if you recall this concept delta is equal to minus 3 pi by 4 and spacing d is given to you this 3 lambda by 2 so how many plot the array of sorry in this question uh, yes 10 isotropic radiator so n is given to you 10 d is given to you 3 lambda by 8 and phase difference is also given to you 3 pi by 4 okay so the magnitude is given major lobe is given to you that is 10 now rest is given to you i simply apply the formula if you remember the formula for maxima what is phi max is simply cosine inverse plus minus 2 m plus 1 lambda divide by 2 n d plus 1 this is the formula we have sorry okay this is the formula we have okay now you need to calculate simply by putting m is equal to first case 0 if you put 0 what is the value it is going to be lambda upon 2 n d n is given d is given simply calculate it now suppose this value is 0 0.8 so plus minus 0 0.8 plus 1 so which value you need to take 0 0.8 or minus 0 0.8 you will need to take those value whose sum is always greater less than or equal to 1 okay please remember this concept you cannot take 1 plus 0 0.8 1 0.8 it cannot take maximum value it can take always plus or minus 1 so the answer is 0 0.2 so, cos inverse of 0 0.2 we will get the answer to this process. So, I am giving the final answer because you need to do the same practice as we did in earlier case for broadside. So, we if you compute the final answer if you visualize this co I am giving the first hint for m is equal to 1 what is the answer cos phi max or phi max is equal to cosine inverse plus minus 3 lambda divide by 2 into 10 into d is given to you 3 lambda by 8 so 3 lambda to 3 lambda cancel out plus 1 okay what is the value it is simply 2 divided by this 4 or 4 going upward 4 by 10 or point plus minus point 0.4 so which value you need to take either 1.5 or which value you need to take minus which value you going to solve the answer correct answer you need to take this value because it is not possible so cos inverse of this point 6 the answer is 53 53 degree roughly same analysis m is equal to 2 m is equal to 3 and that's it okay so i am giving you the answer for m is equal to 2 we will get phi max is equal to 70 for m is equal to 3 we will get phi max is equal to 85 Sorry. we will take this value as 85 we will take this value 
okay for m is equal to 1 this value m is equal to 2 this value m is equal to 3 this value the same formula we applied over here so maxima next we need to find out minor low direction of null so what is the formula the formula of minor low finding is simply you know it is cos phi min of phi min is equal to cosine inverse plus minus m lambda upon n d plus 1. Okay. This is the formula m lambda upon n d plus 1. Again for m is equal to 1, you need to find out this value for m is equal to 2, for m is equal to 3. So, we will just you need to calculate the value. I am not giving this solution because we already discussed in case number 1 numerical 1 that is broadside array. Okay. So, you need to find out evaluate this I will give you the simple answer for this case for m is equal to 1 phi min is 42.26 for m is equal to 2 the value is 61.97 61.97 and third case it is 78.46 or typically 78.5. So, this is the value and the last case we need to find out the magnitude minor low magnitude what is the formula we need to apply over here if you remember it is 2 divide by beta d cos phi minus 1 remember this formula we discussed this formula when we discussing end fire case so beta is given 2 pi by lambda d is given this is 3 lambda by 8 i think d is given to you let us check the question yes 3 lambda by 8. Okay. So, we need to simply put this value and this value what is the value of phi you are going to put over here. Okay. That is very important because phi value for m is equal to 1 what we have calculated this 42.26. Okay. So, for m is equal to 1 the answer of major low magnitude is 2, 2 pi by lambda d is 3 lambda by 8 into cos phi value 42.26 minus 1. You need to simplify this and when you solve this the answer is 3 point because we will get minus answer, but it is magnitude mod of this value. So, answer is 3.27 for m is equal to 1 for m is equal to 2 magnitude for m is equal to magnitude is 1.59 and for m is equal to 3 magnitude is 1.06 okay so remember this now next we need to plot so how we plot we know that let me draw the quick this is the axis 90 degree 270 degree 180 0 degree phi is equal to 0 90 this now we know that end fire is maximum in this direction and this is the direction of null phi max is always 0 degree and 180 degree okay so let me plot the different value if you remember what is the value of size of lobe level it is simply 2 3.27 for 42 degree okay let me change the color this is the direction I am talking about 42 degree 42.26. Now, second side level 61.97. Okay. Now, what is third? It is 85, I guess it is, yes, it is 78.47. 74.5. So, this is the value. Now, you need to center around this the side lobe level. The first level is something 3.27. What is the second value of side lobe level? Is simply 1.59 and third one is simply 1.06. Remember this? Now, what is the direction of major 
it is again same way between this 42 and minus 42.6. Okay. So, this is the direction of maximum which is magnitude of 10 and same way you need to draw the rest figure. I am simply quickly doing this. Okay. Same over here, exactly the mirror image, same over here. So, this is the final solution of n isotropic that is 10 isotropic n fire array. Okay. Dimension is similar though in this figure we this will little bit lengthier than this one, but both is 10. Okay. So, do not get confused and this way we have plot our solution for n fire array. Okay. Now, I am concluding what we have done. We need to understand what is the basic formula for minor lobe, major lobe and amplitude magnitude factor formula for both minor lobe. That is why we can calculate SLL side lobe level. Next, we need to identify the direction of null as well as side lobe level. So, we have calculated this value by simply using the formula which already we discussed and thus we at the end we plotted the field pattern for broadside as well as end fire array. In next lecture, we discuss some other array example and that is it for today's lecture. Thank you.